Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, Lulu Live. I just wanted to go through all of my palettes, or what I would consider a palette. Most of this is covered in dust. Not dust, but powder, you know, from the powders. So I was also going to throw in a twist, and I was going to put on these eye things from Wander Beauty, but I can't seem to find them. I gave away a bunch over this past year, but I purposely kept a pair for myself, and I can't find it. So I came across two different ones, one from Momode and one from Tatcha, and I remember wearing this in one of my boxy videos because I got this in the video, but then I was like, hmm, but my face is like really bad right now. It's been breaking out. So I'm like, I'll do this. So being that this video, I mean not the video, being that the mask from Tatcha, and I know a lot of you got a kick out of it and I thought it was just like ridiculous. So without further ado, I'm gonna go put this on. I gotta clean my hands first again, because I got dusty pulling all this stuff together for this video. And so without further ado, I'm going to go wash my hands and get this going. And then we're going to play with some palettes. Or I'm going to show you my palettes. Alright, so I'll see you in just a sec. Keep this mask in place. <laughs> Hello. I know I look like Mike Myers. Um, this is the Luminous Dewy Skin Mask for Normal to Dry Skin from Tatcha Beauty. It's made in Japan. Each one of these pouches comes with one mask, as you can see. So it says to apply mask and smooth to fit comfortably, leave on for 15 minutes, and then peel off and massage remaining serum into skin. Formulated without mineral oil, parabens, synthetic fragrances, sulfate detergents, phthal phthalates, urea, DEA, or TEA, I don't know what that is. Uh, non-irritating, non-sensitizing, dermatologist tested. And it's just to find them on Instagram at Tatcha. I'm pretty sure I'm already following them. Beautiful faces, beautiful futures. Your purchase supports girls' education, but I got this for free. So I don't know. Maybe OxyCharm supports girls' education. I would hope. Alright, that's cool. So that's that. Let's go with these from Tarte. A lot of my palettes I actually didn't pay for myself, individually at least. Um, I didn't actually pay for like, like I didn't actually buy, you know, um, it was something that I got in a like BoxyCharm box or other subscription box. So just to let you know, some of them I bought myself, but a lot of them I didn't. It came in a subscription box. So this one's from Tarte. It is the, I forget, I threw it on the box anymore. It's one, this one's from Tarte. I'm not sure which one it is. But this one and the other one I have that I was about to show you are pretty much the same. This one has the name on it. This one's Rainforest of the Sea Volume 3. This one's probably the Volume 2. I'm not really sure though. I'm trying to find the name on it, but I don't see it. But they are very similar in shades and look. It's like a compass. And I remember like comparing them in a video that I did a while ago. They're very similar to me. If you see what I mean. And except the volume three is more shimmery. A lot more shimmer colors whereas the other one is mostly matte. The volume three, I believe, only has one matte color. They all look shimmery to me now because they're all like it's all messed up. But these are two that I have. Then I have. Oh my god, where to go next? A lot of these I rarely ever use. Let me go with the one I wore yesterday. So this one is from Urban Decay. It's the Urban Decay On the Run palette. It's a mini version. It's the shortcut palette, and. I wore a lot of these colors yesterday on my eyes. Oops. Uh -oh. No, it's on the floor. Just kidding. I like it because also it has a mirror. 
And when I was like standing there in front of my big my my other mirror in my room, putting on makeup yesterday, like I still looked into this one, and I'm just like, I'm like going back and forth. But yeah, so that's what I did. I used most of the colors. They're really pretty, as you can see. Very similar. Like a lot of my palettes have a lot of similar shades. I know this, but this is another one that I have. I really like it. And then in that same drawer where I kept that one is this little one from Sephora. It was by the the checkout counter. I remember buying this. I believe I got this one in a Sephora too a while ago. And it has a lot of neutral shades in it. I haven't worn this in a while, but I still have it. Like they're very neutral. You got like browns. It doesn't have a mirror, but it has like a, a graph about like how to put it on with tips on it. It's cute. One thing that I haven't really worn much, and I only bought it, well, Daniel, Daniel got it for me, I was begging him, from Target. <laughs> it's the Pixie and Chloe Morello palette. It's called Palette Chloet Romantic Radiance. It has blushes, eyeshadow colors or shades, and liner brow shades. I guess these are the ones I love. And I looked at it when I brought it home because I was going to wear this one day. I only got it because it looked Chloe Morello. But like, it has a little mirror, which is cute. When you open it up, like, it's, well, you can see it when it's closed too. But like, you open it up, there's like, a little mirror here, which is cute. Kind of like the packaging. I'm looking at the colors and I was like, these are boring. But like, to me, they're boring. Another, like, new, like, it's kind of nudey, but. The exception of the brow colors and the liner ones that I wouldn't even know what to do with. The blushes are okay, but like I kind of found this to be very boring. No offense, Chloe. And Pixie, but like, I mean, kind of boring. I wasn't crazy with it. I was a little disappointed. Then I have this one from BH Cosmetics. From, it's the Fairy Lights palette. It has 20 eyeshadow colors, or 20 color shadow, it's a 20 color shadow palette. This one I really like. Again, it's very dirty, <laughs> like dusty, powdery. And you open it up and it has a mirror. And 20 different colors on the bottom. I haven't worn this in a while, but it's so pretty. Isn't this pretty? Like you could do so many different looks with it. And it's a lot of fun. You get like a little bit of this, a little bit of that. They're very pretty colors. You could do something like basic or you can go all out with the shimmers. It's whatever you want to do, but it's very fun to play with. I like this one a lot. Then we have the Morphe Mani MUA Glam Palette, which I have mixed feelings about. But I mean, overall, I like it. It has two highlighters and the rest are eyeshadow colors. I like the packaging. And you open it up, and again, there's a mirror. Oops. It has like a nice size mirror. And the two highlighters, and then the shadows here. I love the colors, but I feel that it takes a bit to get that pigment going the way you want it. Like, you have to like apply it and over apply it and over, like apply it again and again and again until you get that color you want. Although, like, the shimmery ones are a lot more pigmented, I, I've noticed. They're really pretty to play with. Like I like to mix them together and they come out to be really pretty. I love it. Sometimes. <laughs> I kinda love it. I love I it, I don't hate it, but I have mixed feelings about it. Like you just have to like reapply it. This one's go to beauty, Coco. It's supposed to be the it's from Bad Be Bad Baby. You know, that girl who was on Dr. Phil said catch me outside, catch me outside. It's a dupe for the chocolate palette from, I think it's Too Faced. And if you open it up, it has a mirror. And it kind of smells like chocolate, but not as good as Too Faced. And the colors are probably identical to the Too Faced ones. Quality-wise, I really don't know because I haven't used it, the Too Faced one, but this one's all right. And the colors are pretty. It applies decently. So I really don't have any complaints about it, but it is similar to it. I mean, I don't have it to compare it to the two. I don't have the Too Faced one to compare it to, but I do know that it, on the surface, it looks almost identical. This one from Nomad, 
the one from Go To Booty, the Bad Baby one, I bought this one too. Like this one I bought because I wanted to see, excuse me, I wanted to check out some of her products just to see what she was all about. She like specializes in dupes. Then we have Nomad Berlin Underground, un Unterground, un Unterground, I don't know, that's a German, that's what it looks like. Nomad Cosmetics Berlin Palette, Intense Eyeshadow Palette. And it was designed in Berlin, Germany, made in China, okay. And this one has a nice size mirror, let me open it up, and I barely use this. I don't know. I'm not crazy about it. The colors looking at it now aren't so bad, but again, they're like similar to a lot of other palettes that I already have. So I'm just like, oh, okay, whatever, not again. That's just how I felt about it. I haven't, I barely used it. As you can see. But that's that. This I got in a box of some sort. Then we have Huda Booty. <laughs> Huda Beauty. 3D Highlighter Palette. I'm going to leave this on longer than it says to just because. 3D Highlighter Palette. This I got in a box. It's called the Golden Sands Edition. And inside you have four different powders. Uh, one, it's, one is to prep, two is to set, three is to sculpt, and four is flush. You can see I really use some of these. <laughs> There's no mirror, but it tells you like how to use them, and it's very powdery right now. It's to be clean. But that's what this one is. And I love the way that the setting one and the bronzing one or sculpting and the blush look. The prep one is like, it has a little shimmer in it, but the, 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 this one is like a very, it's like very highlighting, and then this one's like a shimmery bronzer, which, um, but I like, I like it when I want to have that glowing look, but it's not like something you want every day, unless you want to look like glowing all day every day, but it does look really nice when you use it. So that's Huda. Then, let me go into these little guys here. From, this is Crown. It's the Glam Metals palette from Crown. I haven't used this in a while. It's cute when you open it up. It says rock your look with like a guitar shaped mirror. And underneath you have nine shadow shades rock themed. It's cute. It's similar to the Nomad one except you don't have as many colors. Like that's why like I probably got these around the same time in boxes I'm guessing and I was like the same thing <laughs> but it's cute it's just the shades are very similar to other things I've already had but it's cute I did wear this a bit I don't think I didn't love it but I liked it you know how it goes and this one's alternative rock volume one face palette from the balm pink florit I don't know what that means hit song Hit song, Chanson, A Success, Naughty, or Nice, with the G. Um, this is cute. I like the bomb with, like, their pinup, you know, graphics, whatever you call it. I like it. That whole look. It's cute. And you open it, you, like, take that off, too. <laughs> like, you know. And it's really cute. It looks like a record. And... There's a mirror on the inside, Alternative Rock. And there's four different shadows and a blush, a bronzer, and a highlighter. But back when I got this, I didn't know how to use bronzer. I'm still learning. So I didn't really use that bronzer because of the blush. <laughs> But it is cute. Kind of nudes. It's like a romantic nude color scheme. Next is the Morphe Times Jeffree Star palette. It is huge. I love this. It has a huge mirror on the top. And underneath it are, I 
figure out how many shades. But there are a lot of shimmery and matte shades, very colorful in this palette. Very pigmented, and some shades I've worn more than others, as you can see, but I love it. It's a lot of fun and really pretty. Then we have this big boy. It's the Urban Decay Elements Eyeshadow Palette. And I haven't worn this as much as I thought I would, but it is really nice. I love the packaging. It's beautiful. How about that? And it has like this thing here where you push it down, it opens up. You get this huge circular mirror and all these pretty colors. A lot of shimmer shades and matte shades combined. And it's really pretty. I just haven't worn it much. This guy from Butter London. I don't know what it's called because it doesn't have a name. Oh, it's the Natural Goddess. You can find out when you open it up. So it has a mirror across the top and six shades beneath it. I'm not, I wasn't, I don't know. I've tried them, but I'm not in love with it. Like, I'm not crazy about it. It's okay, but it's not really my go-to palette. This one was $5 from Profusion. I want to say I got this at Walgreens, but I'm not sure. Probably Walgreens. I like the packaging, and it was $5. You can't go wrong with that. It's the Bold 9 Shade Multi-Finish Eyeshadow Palette. It's very similar to one of the ones... Which one was it? This one? Or the Glam Metals? I think it will turn into the Brock one. I don't know. It's very similar to like other things that I've gotten. But for, like, a cheap drugstore palette, it's pretty good. It's just been a while since I've used it, so I don't remember too much. But it looks like I've used it. Or at least the three in here and the purple one. <laughs> I have this from Color FX, which is Man Calgary. Oops. It's their Perfector Face Palette in Light Medium. It has... Highlighters, illuminators, highlighters, finishing powder, contour, and blush. Okay. So I'm open this bad way up. I don't use this one in a while. With a nice size mirror, two highlighters, a brightener, a finishing powder, a blush, and a contour powder. Then I got this one on clearance. At Target, it's the Revlon Photo Ready Galaxy Dream Holographic Highlighting Palette. And I paid $3.58. Originally it was $11.99. I was like, for that price, can't go wrong. I would think. It comes with a mirror and four highlighters that I was really disappointed in. And I was like, oh, it's no wonder. It was marked down to $3.58. No offense, Revlon. But this was an epic failure on your part. I apologize, but it's the truth. Like, I don't know. Like, I opened it up and I was like, white? Like a white, white, an ivory white? Or slightly yellow, I don't know. Green and a blue, and I'm like, and when you put them on, like, I don't know. It just doesn't seem like something I would want to wear. And I have the Tetris Times Ipsy Game On palette, which I don't like at all. I've tried to, and I just don't. It's very messy. It has a mirror and six shades. I just haven't. I've tried it, and it's just not right for me. Like, the shades I don't really care for. I don't know. Pigment. And then it was very messy and I had a lot of fallout or something and I just didn't like it. But it's a cute idea. Like you get a mirror, you get some colors, it comes in a cute little thing. But it just wasn't, it's not for me. Like I tried using it the other day again and I'm like, for the first time in a long time, which I barely ever used. And I'm like, no. 
Then I have this one from Pure. It's the Festival Palette 12 piece, 12 piece pressed pigment palette. And it comes with the mirror. It says treat every day like a festival. And it has 12 shades. And they're a lot of fun. This one looks like I've really gone into. And they're pretty. Like I like this color scheme. And it's fun. And it's been a long time. But I liked it for a bit. Then I have the Pure Sculpture Palette. This was actually my second one because the first one I used till you couldn't use it anymore, I think. And I had to buy another one. I got the first one in a box. This one I might have bought myself. I think I did. It has two highlighting shades and two contour shades. It's their highlight and contour palette. It smells like chocolate to me. And it comes with a mirror and it says you are the sculptor of your own destiny. The little mirror here. And the two highlighters and the two contours. When I was using this, teaching myself how to contour and I really like the highlighters and I just love the way it smells. It smells like chocolate even now but it's been sitting, you know, in my room for a while. It still has that nice chocolatey smell. I love it. I just haven't used this one probably in a while, if ever, but I really used the first one, and I'm like, I have to get it again. I think I was going to use it, and I haven't used it. Then this one's from Alomar Cosmetics. It's the Colorette Blush Trio for fair, light skin. There's three shades, and I haven't worn this in a while, but I have tried them. It looks... It has a mirror on top, and then there are three blush shades on the bottom. It looked like I used a little bit of it. Then we have this palette from ooh, Violet Boss. It's the Essentials Pro Series Eyeshadow Palette. You open it up and there's a mirror again. And you have 10 shades. It looks like I really like the pink one. But I didn't use many of the other ones, but I did try the pink one. I don't remember what I thought of it, but probably not too much if I barely used it. <laughs> and then I have the Marvelous Moths from Dose of Colors, which I really like. And I'm looking for that kind of pink, purpley mauve look. And it has five shades, starting from, oh yeah, there's also a mirror on the top here. It's really compact, like, grab it and with you somewhere if you really wanted to know it's pretty lightweight considering and it starts from like this light color all the way up to like the darkest purple it's like you're working your way up and this one I haven't used as much the darkest purple because I kind of like going from here to here to here to here and I'm happy and then on occasion I'll do that but I'm kind of happy up to the fourth one <laughs> and then I stop I don't know why, but like, it's true. I really like this though. I just, I'm not bold enough to go all the way, you know what I mean? So that's that. And then I have this Pure Boxy Charm Palette. What's it called? 12 piece eyeshadow palette. I don't know. But it's Pure Boxy Charm. And you open it up, and again, there's a mirror on top, and many colors on the bottom that are similar to other ones. Oh, this one's really pretty, the boxy black. It has like specks of purple and blue and stuff in it. It's really pretty. This one I use quite a bit from what it looks like. It's just been a while. Some of the shades I didn't touch though. But I must have liked it. I just don't remember. <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't. This one's the Naked Cosmetics palette. Holographic Highlighter Collection. I like the packaging. I think I used to use this one. I'm trying to remember though. Oh, it's broken. This one is broken. The one color that should be in there is missing. This yellow one down here is broken. This one I used. Does not have a mirror, but I do remember loving this, but it must have been a while. But I, like, I, I loved it a while ago because I have not used it ever since. 
and I did not know until now that some of these have broken. But they were really pretty. Like I really liked the pink one or purpley one in here that I used. <laughs> it's just been a while. Before I ruin that more than I already did, I'm just gonna sneak it back in here. Then I have this little guy from Ofra. It's the Madison Miller palette. It has I think these are blushes. I don't even know. It has a mirror on the top. Is this a blush or a highlight? That's a highlight. That's a blush. And then this one is another highlighter. I don't know. Maybe it's two highlighters and a blush. I'm not really sure what this one is. Maybe it's a shimmering contour shade, bronzer, bronzer, blush, and highlight. I don't know. But I haven't really used this one, as you can see. Probably because I looked at it and I was like, what do you do with these? Aside from the one that looks like a blush. I don't know. <laughs> it's just collecting dust. This is the Pure Times Dr. Seuss, the Grinch, Good Enough to Steal, 12-piece collector's face palette and color-changing lip balm set. I think the lip balm is not in here anymore, and it's probably falling out at this point because I took it out to wear it. I don't think I used the shadows except for when I made the video on this a while ago. But I figured we'll look through it again one more time before I put it out to collect dust again. I like the way it looks. I love the packaging and I'm like, I have to get this. And when I love to wear and who doesn't love Dr. Seuss? So, oops. <laughs> Let me see if it's empty. Isn't this cute? So, when you first open it up, it looks like this. There's a heart-shaped mirror, and it says, The Grinch's small heart grew three sizes that day. Isn't that adorable? Then you open it up, and there would have been a lip balm here, but I took it out. It's very Christmassy. I guess this could be a blush, and that's a highlighter, and then the rest are eyeshadows. We can do whatever you want with it, pretty much. These are just so pretty. I did use it except for that one time when I made the video. But I thought this was so cute. So that's pretty much it for today, kids. Let me take this off. Clean my hands, take this off, do, rub it in, and say goodbye to y'all. Okay? So just wait one more second, okay? I'll be right back. Welcome back. I'm here. So I just took it off. There really wasn't any serum to really rub into my skin because I just left that sit and dry on my face. But I'm happy to take it off now. I'm happy that I took it off because I just looked way too ridiculous with that on my face. I appreciate y'all for stopping by and learning about my opinions on all these things that I went through with you today, all these little palettes. And I will see you all soon. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Lulu Live. Oh wait, forget <laughs> to. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, Lulu Live. Click the notification bell somewhere on the top so that you will be notified every time I upload a new video to my channel. Again, Lulu Live. Follow me on my social medias listed all over my channel. And um, I will see you all soon. I wish everybody a safe and healthy period of quarantine, quarantine period, whatever you call it. And um, I will see you all soon. Thanks again for tuning in with me. Bye. Twelve piece eyeshadow palette. I don't know, but it's pure boxy charm. And you open it up, and again, there's a mirror on top, and many colors on the bottom that are similar to other ones. Oh, this one's really pretty, the boxy black. It has like specks of purple and blue and stuff in it. It's really pretty. This one I use quite a bit from what it looks like. It's just been a while. Some of the shades I didn't touch though. But I must have liked it. I just don't remember. <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't. This one's the Naked Cosmetics palette.
holographic highlighter collection. I like the packaging. I think I used to use this one. I'm trying to remember though. Oh, it's broken. This one is broken. The one color that should be in there is missing. This yellow one down here is broken. This one I used. Does not have a mirror, but I do remember loving this, but it must have been a while. But I, like, I, I loved it a while ago because I have not used it ever since. And I did not know until now that some of these have broken. But they were really pretty. Like I really liked the pink one or purpley one in here that I used. <laughs> it's just been a while. Before I ruin that more than I already did, I'm just going to sneak it back in here. Then I have this little guy from Ofra. It's the Madison Miller palette. It has, I think these are plushes, I don't even know. There's a mirror on the top. Is this a blush or a highlight? That's a highlight. That's a blush. And then this one is another highlighter. I don't know. Maybe it's two highlighters and a blush. I'm not really sure what this one is. Maybe it's a shimmering contour shade, bronzer. Bronzer, blush, and highlight. I don't know. But I haven't really used this one, as you can see. Probably because I looked at it and I was like, what do you do with these? Aside from the one that looks like a blush. I don't know. <laughs> it's just collecting this. And then, I'm going to have to go to these another day because I'm getting tired. thought I would get to it, but I didn't. But this is the Pure Times Dr. Seuss, the Grinch, Good Enough to Steal, 12-piece collector's face palette and color-changing lip balm set. I think the lip balm is not in here anymore, and it's probably falling out at this point because I took it out to wear it. I don't think I used the shadows except for when I made the video on this a while ago. But I figured we'll look through it again one more time before I put it out to collect dust again. This one has 12, so it, did I sell you yet? Yeah, I think I did. Um, but I like the way it looks. I love the packaging, and I'm like, I have to get this. When I love Pure, and who doesn't love Dr. Seuss? So, oops. <laughs> it's empty. Isn't this cute? So, when you first open it up, it looks like this. There's a heart-shaped mirror, and it says, The Grinch's small heart grew three sizes that day. Isn't that adorable? Then you open it up, and there would have been a lip balm here, but I took it out. It's very Christmassy. I guess this could be a blush, and that's a highlighter, and then the rest are eyeshadows. We do whatever you want with it, pretty much. These are just so pretty. I didn't use it except for that one time when I made the video. But I thought this was so cute. So that's pretty much it for today, kids. Let me take this off, clean my hands, take this off, do, rub it in, and say goodbye to y'all, okay? So just wait one more second, okay? I'll be right back, I promise. Welcome back, I'm here. So I just took it off. There really wasn't any serum to really rub into my skin because I just left that sit and dry on my face. But I'm happy to take it off now. Um, it's be, I'm happy that I took it off because I just looked way too ridiculous with that on my face. But I appreciate y'all for stopping by and learning about my opinions on all these things that I went through with you today, all these little palettes. And I will see you all soon. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, Lulu Live. Click the notification bell somewhere on the top so that you will be notified every time I upload a new video to my channel. Again, Lulu Live. Follow me on my social medias listed all over my channel. Bye. Please subscribe before you leave, leave, leave. Don't forget to subscribe. Please subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe.
themselves.